My creature detector has sensed a very strong creature signal, which makes me worry. What do you say? I do have a detonate. I got everything for this bomb, I think. Let's blow it up. If there's a creature in there, can we just blow it up and I don't have to fight him? I'd rather do that. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Delivery from the Pain. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon. We are ready to hit the Central Park map here today. Let's actually not even spend any... Actually, well... Yeah, let's go there now. There's two things that I want to do today. Number one, open up the next set of maps going forward, which is very important. Number two, I don't think we'll be able to complete this right now. Some of you guys let me know what's going to go down over here. And, well, you know what, let's actually just go in there and then we'll talk about it. Surprise you, so to say. Okay, so here at the Central Park, we got two individuals. Look who it is. Colin Loke. You guys remember Colin Loke? Wanted to join my, my, my base and I was like, get on out of here, I don't trust you. And here he is, apparently. So let's find out if this guy was good or bad or not. You. How did you get here? That's basically, he sounds to me like a really annoying scumbag. Now this guy, I have no idea who this is. This is Avery Float. You must be the one Loke was talking about. Hey, I'm Float. Since we're both heading toward the North City, maybe you can help me. Why are you going to the North City? To be exact, I'm going back to the North City. So you are also from the North City? Can you tell me something about the Stronghold? Not really a stronghold. To be honest, the situation in the North City is actually much worse than that down south. There are more zombies and they are stronger. I kind of believe the electric net is for keeping zombies in the North City. So it's worse up there? Why well, don't want to go up there then? What? That's quite different from what Loke told me. He? How could he know anything about the North? Isn't Loke from there? He's a local here. You must be wrong. As far as I know, my older brother and his woman are the only survivors up there. So he was lying. He was a lying scumbag. Oh, I fell in the water and I got washed away. Let me stay. Yeah, okay. I was right about kicking this fella out. Er, fine. My bad. I was just trying to play along with your words. Hey, I need a place to stay. You. Good lord. I didn't buy your words so easily. Bro, this is a doomsday. Let's talk about the stronghold. Maybe we can all be saved. Yeah. I've been living in the North City with my elder brother, but I don't know anything about the stronghold. I got a message from the radio. They claimed they had a stronghold up there, but they were unable to come to our rescue. So we have to make our way to this coordinate location ourselves. The coordinate. Show me. I believe it's a factory. That area is not safe. We alone are not strong enough to go there. Uh, maybe that's why they can't come to our rescue? Possible. If my brother is here, it won't be a problem. <laughs> we do have the same mission. Let's go then. But we can't go there without cutting off the power to the electric net. How did you get here? My brother took me on a hunting trip. I fell into the river and flew down to the south. Same excuse as Lokes. Uh, co coincidence. Uh, I'll have a word with Duke tomorrow. He's a smart guy. He, he might come up with a plan. And Duke is the, the doctor. That was fast. I'll be here in the next couple of days to figure out some solution. If you need gunpowder, come to trade with me. Got it. Alright, so. We now have to wait one day for... Homeboy to get the information from Duke on how to cut the power off. And I think we all know where we're going to go, right? We're going to go back to the backup power plant. And remember how that thing that we found that we couldn't interact with? We're going to probably now be able to interact with it, turn it off, and then it's going to open this up. And that's probably where the boss fight you guys have been warning about is going to be at. So I need to be ready for that one. Trust me, you would know what is a true capable man when you meet my brother. So let's see what this guy has for trade over here. Um, I have a couple of items for trade. Number one, I got this. If I use the skincare product, it'll up my trade value. So I'm going to use that before we do any trade so I get more for less items to give them. This guy's got gunpowder and weapons. I kind of want to do it, but at the same time, I don't. I feel like I have enough gunpowder back home to make my own bullets. So 
We have one day to prepare for this boss fight. There's nothing here that he has that I'm really interested in. I mean, he probably has this, but it's going to require a lot of trade. I want to get... Um, we're missing... I think we're missing in order to make the... The level 4 workbench to make the stronger weapons. I believe we're missing copper wire. But this guy doesn't have any copper wire. So, let's go back. There's nothing else to do here other than just hunt. So, we still have to wait one day for... Loke's information from Dr. Duke. So... What I'm going to do right now is let's jump over to Central Town Park, which is normally where Dr. Duke is at in the morning. And I'll do some trades with him, and he might have copper wire. Um, I don't think I want to go to trade with the fat dude, because he only has food. I'm not really interested in food at the moment. So let's see what you have first. Um, let's make a deal. Oh, dude, no copper wire. Ooh, I could have really used some copper wire, brother. I could have really used some copper wire. What happens if I leave? Do you, do you reset your stock if I leave and come back? Because I really need copper wire. Let's see. Please reset your stock. Oh, uh, no. That's the same exact stuff, isn't it? Alrighty, guys. So, you know what? Forget it. I'm not going to do any trades. Really, it's copper wire that I want. And we can't seem to find it. So... We're just going to go to this house, and hopefully we can find some copper wire here. I'm not going to use the only trading buff that I have for stuff that I don't really need. So hopefully we just get lucky and find copper wire here. There's at least one box to check out, which is good. Two. Okay. Oh, there's a walker over there, too. Oh, there's a screamer. Alright, there's a lot of um things to check out over here at the very least. And we have a screamer right there. Um... I'm not going to take any of your chances because she screams. She'll alert everybody in this map over to me, which is no good. So I'm going to definitely go with the chopper on this one. Just got to make sure that we get her. Don't come outside. Why are you coming outside for? Is that good? Can we go there now? Oh. Stop turning around so abruptly. Does she have, like, higher senses than normal or what? What's the deal here? Oh, thank God. Okay. Dude, she was messing with me. It was like, kind of like, oh, you want to come in? Oh, turn around. Oh, turn around now. We got more earrings for trading. Well, I mean, I want copper wire. The earrings would be nice for trading if I just had somebody to trade copper wire with, which right now is not the case. He heard me from all the way over there. He's like a couple of rooms away, dog. And it's all for nothing because it's empty. Well, he's going to come around and check it out, which is fine. It gives me some time to get over here. Hopefully he doesn't hear me over here, too. If anything, he'll get lost in his room, and I can just kind of sneak around and get into his room, and then sneak out without killing anything else. That'd be fine as well. Bullets and... shoddy. There he goes. That's cool. Yeah, go in there. Get in there, dum-dum. <laughs> that actually worked out in my favor. And if he hears me opening this one, that's fine. I think we should be able to open this and get out in time, hopefully. No, he's not going to hear it. Ha <laughs> ha! That worked out splendidly. So I guess more than likely, we're going to probably go back home and just rest and wait till tomorrow, because we've checked every other map. Haven't found any more copper wire. Nobody wants to trade copper wire, so we're, we're done. Anything on this map, or at least on this side of the map? Nope. Anything inside here? Nope. All right. Yeah, that's it. This was the very last map that we have not checked out before. Yeah, we got everything, too. Alrighty, so it is time for us to hit the road. I'm not sure when you fight this boss, so... Should I go precaution and just take everything now? Like, 14 bullets. Take the shotgun. Take the chopper as well. Is that all I'll probably need? Oh, there you go. More bullets. I was hoping I had more bullets, but yeah, we do. So, plenty of shotgun shells, as we can see. And that's really all she is, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to go deck this way. I'm not sure if I should take... I mean, since it's another day, is there a possibility that we probably have trades now? Like, before we go to the, the area, we could hopefully get some copper wire from Duke. I'm going to take this with me just in case there is a trade possibility. And let's go. So, those dudes should be back over here now, they said tomorrow. It is indeed tomorrow. And hopefully get that talk with Duke about how to take the fence out. I know it's going to be in the backup power plant. I know where it's going to be. 
Where the hell is the ad? Where where the hell is L Loke? Hey, where's Loke? He said tomorrow, right? Oh, this is concerning. Check it out, guys. He's got a copper wire today. Yes! Okay, so in case we need a, a strong weapon for this boss, we'll make it happen. So, here's what we'll do. Let me use... I'll leave you alone. Yeah. Let me use this product on myself. Now we have the, the buff for trades, and I'll make you a deal. I also need diarrhea medicine, so this will be like a two-in-one type of deal. So, let me get all of this off of you. Like, the entire thing. 20. So what if I give you one earring for this? Nope. What about two? Two earrings will do it for 20. That's a lot of copper wire. That's easily acceptable for me. But as I mentioned, I also need um, <laughs> diarrhea medicine because I'm very low on that. So... He's saying no now. If I toss him more earring, he'll say yes. Can I get two diarrhea? Yes. Can I get three? Yep. Can I get four? No. 20 copper wire, three diarrhea for three earrings. Let's make it happen. That's what I really need. Uh, can I get a couple of bandages too? I can. Only one. Confirm. Alright. So, check it out. Now with the copper wire, we can make that workbench. And hopefully make the upgraded gun in case we need it. So the problem now lies in, do I go back up here and is Loke going to be there now? Set tomorrow, he talked to Duke, we talked to Duke, nothing really went down. He wouldn't be in Smith Hospital, right? I mean, that's the other place where the doctor hangs out at. I mean, would he be at the backup power plant already? See, I know that's where we have to go, but it just wouldn't make any sense for me to go there right now because the game hasn't told us that we need to go there to turn off the, the, the power, you know? Like, the game has to tell you, like, hey, if you go over there, you'll be able to get into where you have to go. It can't just... He wasn't here the entire freaking time. Dude! The doctor's in two places at once right now. It's scary. All right. Let's make it happen here. To be honest, I don't like your sweet talks. That should be the end of our conversation. It's okay that you don't like the way I speak. <laughs> a good, a good thing I made him annoying, huh? But please think about it. Hmm. Young man, you are here. What are you talking about? Perfect timing. Come and help me convince him. I think I've made myself clear. I'm not interested in that human stronghold. I don't expect anyone to come to my rescue. I know you only care about your research, but under the current circumstances, can you really focus on your study? The answer is obvious. You know the best hospital in this area is in North City. Of course you can have a better environment for your research. Ugh, what do you think? Alright, cool. So we had to do this. We got an achievement there. I think you should think about it carefully. If you really care about your research, think about making use. Yeah, we gotta go with that one. I understand the importance of your research. We can't miss even the smallest aid. I'm just afraid the hospital has been destroyed, and we will all be let down when we get there. Well, a sleeping lion is still stronger than a barking dog. However badly it has been damaged, I'm sure there will be something you can use. Besides, Float's older brothers are very capable men. With his help, you can totally do more with less. That makes sense. Alright. At least we have hope again. No matter what, we shouldn't lose hope because no one likes despair. You are right. I can't achieve any breakthrough staying here. I might as well take the risk. Yes! We need your wisdom and talent. We won't let anything happen to you. Hmm. You got a smooth tongue and a decent understanding of current affairs. Thanks. So you decided? Yes, I decide to help you and myself. Tomorrow, I'll meet you at the Central Park to work out a plan. I'll be there as well. We'll be there waiting. See ya! Don't forget about it. Rest assured, I'll be there. Yes, I'll hurry. So now we gotta wait another day still. Alright. Well, luckily, it gives us enough time to go and, like, build what we have to build, so it's fine. Um, have you restocked anything? Oh, you have the... <laughs> you still have the earrings for trade, huh? Okay, well... That's it. I'll leave you alone. So, let's go back home. A little bit hungry, my car's damaged, I'll have to fix that pretty soon. So let's, um, finally do this. So this requires 15... Ooh, 12 steel. Is that gonna leave enough to repair my car? Oh, just barely. Dude! I'm gonna be out of steel really, really soon. I also need steel for the generator. Uh-oh. 
Oh, oh, that's a little bit troubling. Well, let's make the manufacturing station before the generator goes down. So that's done. Generator, don't go off on me just yet. And now we come up here, and we do... There it is, rifle. 98 minutes. Make it happen. And hopefully this doesn't require too much copper wire. Like, we could do up to 10 at least. Oh, look at that, it did get upgraded. Look at that, it looks a lot bigger now. Cool. And there it is. So, yes, it only costs three copper wire. Oh, no, the rest of the steel. But my car. Oh, this is a problem. <laughs> this is a big old problem now. There's got to be a way to get steel, right? Maybe we'll get steel from the backup power plant once we open up the gates. I have to imagine so. I really haven't used steel for much in the game, just for necessity, so they gotta give you steel. So there it is, we have this now. I imagine you also use the same bullets, right? Because you're a modified shotgun. Okay guys, so we are ready for this boss fight. My morale is very low, I should have probably... Um, you know what, I can have some alcohol straight up. I'm rested enough as it is. Also probably have like a couple of cigarettes, I'm pretty sure I have some here, let's see. Cigarettes, cigarettes, where are you? There you are. Oh, I have two. That's fine. Alright, let's go. Central Park it is. Make our plan. They're really drawing this out, aren't they? Like, they gave you enough time to make sure you're prepared for this showdown with this freaking monster that I'm about to go down against, apparently. Oh, here I am, guys. Oh, bro, finally, we've been waiting. How's it going? Any conclusion? Dr. Dude has brought us some useful information. This electric net's power is not from the nearby power plant, but a backup power station. What'd I tell you? That doesn't matter. The point is that those power supply facilities are manned by computers. We can't cut it off without the password. The problem is, we don't know the password. So we can't do it? Float thinks we should blow it up, but I suggest we somehow break the password so we are able to turn it on when needed. But who knows if you can break it? Better just blow it up. Blowing it up could be a bit perfunctory, but breaking the password is probably difficult. My creature detector has sensed a very strong creature signal, which makes me worry. What do you say? Now, here's the thing. I do have a detonate. I got everything for this bomb, I think. Let's blow it up. If there's a creature in there, can we just blow it up and I don't have to fight him? I'd rather do that. Since we're going to the North City for the human stronghold, we could just blow it up. But we don't know anything about the North City. We should leave the retreat route open just in case. Actually, we could try both. Why do we have to pick one over the other? Very astute and wily. Let's distribute the work. I'm probably the only one that knows how to make a bomb, but I don't have materials. I can work on that, but you need to be more specific about what you need. Who's going to break the password? That'll be both of you. All right. We need detonators, cell phones, and circuit boards. I should be able to make a decent time bomb with those materials. I have all three of those items already, which is great. Why do we need a time bomb? Remote control bombs are a high, have a higher, higher failure rate. We can't afford a failure. I see. Alrighty, so we have everything needed. So if we blow this place up, do we even have to do the fight? They wouldn't make it that easy, would they? Doubt it. Uh, about the time bomb. I've got all the materials you asked for. Let's take a look. Let me see. Hey, they're all good. You are quite reliable. So, how long does this bomb take? No rush. This is a very dangerous item. We can't rush it. Come back. Oh, come on. Tomorrow? Dude. Dude. I've been running back and forth the entire episode. I got nothing else to do over here. Oh. You know what that means? I have to go back and like risk more diarrhea because I gotta eat some food. Ah, <sighs> these guys. Alrighty, guys. So I'm gonna wrap it up here. I was hoping to do this here in this episode, but it's been long enough. Um, we did get this quest completed for the most part, though. So I imagine next episode we'll blow up the power plant. We'll deal with that giant monster you guys were talking about, and we'll see how it goes. And hopefully we get to the North City that way. I hope you enjoyed it. Stick around for next episode. I will catch you next time.